So you might be wondering, where is this? Like, where the hell are we? Welcome to my new farm. <laughs> So today was the day where I finally, after literally months, maybe even half a year of thinking about this and looking for places to, to buy, I've just signed the deed today. And let me show you, these are the keys. First of all, they look really fucking cool. I love things with texture, honestly. That's something that I that I've actually learned that I'm really into. And trust me, this farm has a fuck ton of texture. <laughs> Everything at the moment is obviously a huge mess, um, but you gotta put your um, like potential hat on uh, if you want me to show you around. And by the way, we're under this beautiful fig tree, which I don't know if you can see, but it's actually full of little figs. Look at this one. And and honestly it's just beautiful I'm gonna show you everything that there is to see around the farm or at least the stuff that I know there is to see because I'm sure there's gonna be stuff that I haven't even found out yet of but yeah let's go for a little tour so it's got this pretty big barn um, obviously it's just a roof, a leaking roof, and some stone walls. This image probably sucks because it's super, super dark. There's tons of these small lizards. There's one there now. got this second building smaller way smaller this one I would say that it's probably like 10 uh, I mean not 10 but like maybe like 20 square meters maybe a bit smaller than that I still I'm not sure what to do exactly with it but the roof is in pretty good condition even though that it <laughs> there's all these little lizards um, so I think I might try to fix this up first before I tackle the big one. Yeah, there's also all this land. I think it's it's around 2,400 square meters, something like that. Full of these beautiful like old, old olive trees. The owner also just told me that the, um, the barn itself, it's probably over 200 years old, which, which I find really cool. It's got all these tons of stone. And apparently they were mining the stone here to make the, the ground more arable for planting. It's just, yeah, it's really cool. And it's so fucking peaceful. It's actually crazy.
I'm so hungry. It feels really good to be here. You know, I've been, I've been obsessing over videos of people doing this sort of stuff. There's, yeah, there's a sort of, it's a good feeling. I feel like it's not, there's a, there's a small amount of places that I've found in which I can feel like I don't have to worry about the real world, I guess. And uh, I think this is one of those. So this is my setup. I know it looks terrible, but it feels nice. It's actually quite quite cozy. And I've managed to lock the door. The lock is still kind of fucked up. I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a new one. And I had the most, the coolest shower, both in temperature because the water was freezing and in like coolness of it because I, I showered under the big fig tree and there's no one here so I, I, I was literally just butt naked <laughs> just showering and it felt so nice and now I feel so clean and I'm tired but I'm just gonna lay down here and I'm gonna watch some Netflix because like come on like it doesn't have to be that rough <laughs> I'm excited man I'm actually really excited I think it was a really nice first day I got to clear off that path, I, I took care of clearing big majority of this out as well. I fixed this table, which I didn't actually show you, but it was uh, messed up, now it actually works as a table, it's pretty nice. And I'm happy with what we found, like there's tons of wood, tons of old but really usable wood, which is nice, and I'm really excited with the, yeah, for the times to come, tomorrow it's gonna be another cool day. I can't fucking wait. Morning. <laughs> well, the night was interesting. It was... It wasn't cold. I mean, the night itself was freezing, but... Uh, I had tons of blankets, so I was alright under the blankets. It was hard to get out of the hammock this morning <laughs> because it was fucking freezing. Um, but, but yeah, the thing is, my neck is kind of fucked up because I have. Uh, it's just the thing of like not being used to sleeping in a hammock, and also I think I have this thing that I think I'm every time that I move, which I do a lot. Um, I I tend to wake up and I think it's because deep down I know that I'm in a hammock so I'm always afraid that I'm gonna fall so there's always that thing in the back of my mind and yeah and it doesn't really let me sleep because of that 
So the night was pretty, pretty bad to be honest. Um, so since I woke up, I've been thinking of solutions for for that, and I have a couple of ideas. Maybe we'll talk about them later. Yes! Jesus, it's really fucking tight. <sighs> Holy shit. Look at this. Jesus, fuck. That was so lucky. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fucking lucky. My finger is totally fine. My glove. Yeah, not not so happy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, all right. Yes. So right now I'm switching up the lock because I tried fixing it, but I really couldn't. I think that one was just way too messed up so I got a new one and I'm trying to see if I can actually lock this place <laughs> 